Hi everyone, this is Maurizio, editor of Power Electronics uh, News and European correspondent for E-Times. We are here at Power Electronics Conference in Munich and uh, I am here together uh, Alex uh, Lindo, uh, engineer at uh, a APC. Thanks, uh, Alex, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, the power market is uh, evolving uh, a lot. We need uh, high performance power devices and uh, in all this, uh, we can find the silicon carbide and gallium nitride, SIC and GAN. So, are you SIC or GAN? Well, first of all, they're both great. Uh, but our company does gallium nitride devices, and uh, we've been in production for over 10 years. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell me uh, your latest product about uh, GAN components? So we're in our Generation 5 devices, uh, and our products include both discrete devices and integrated circuits with gallium nitride. Um, they're mostly for things like LiDAR for autonomous vehicles and DC to DC power supplies for uh, very high density computers, uh, envelope tracking systems for base stations, lots of military and high rel applications. Um, and uh, you know, our latest devices are about 10 times better than the best silicon in the world. Yeah. Uh, for the future, how do you see the power market? Which are the challenges for uh, a strong adoption of GAN components, for example, in electrical vehicles? Well, so, so you're asking a, a series of questions about electric vehicles. I think that you're, you're asking about the traction drive in electric vehicles, and that's something where I think gallium nitride or maybe silicon carbide will be in the traction drives. That's not our market. Where we go in electric uh, and uh, hybrid vehicles is in the 48-volt power distribution systems. Okay, so for designers, I think that the main topics will be high power, uh, efficient conversion, and thermal performance. So what do you think about these uh, topics for a designer? So I think that the designers are concerned primarily about cost, reliability, size, and efficiency. Now efficiency, uh, if you're more efficient, you don't need as much thermal uh, extraction. If you're less efficient, of course, you need more. So the goal is not to generate the heat. Now, GAN devices are better than silicon on all of those counts. So I think that for adoption, the issue isn't the performance of the GAN or the cost of the GAN. It's really the education of the engineers on how to use it well. Thanks. Thanks uh, so much for uh, this interview. Thank you.